was addicted to the slums. Huh? Nine to five ambition, morals lost, feeling numb. Yeah. Uncle Sam laughing when first and fifteen come again. Please, Mr. Copper Man, I'm just another Mexican, California resident. My name's ARS. I'm from uh, the Inland Empire. The name actually stands for Artistic Rhythm and Soul, and pretty much what that what pertains to that is it's uh, an independent, you know, culture that I that I that I visualize myself in and pertain myself to directly to link with people on a day-to-day -day basis on life and pertaining to the music, you know what I mean? I was probably about 11 or 12 when I first started recording. I, I think seventh grade, I picked up a PC mic, plugged it in, had virtual DJ going through a beat in and started rapping. Of course, it sounded like shit, but to be from there to where I am now, it, it's a really big step that I, I, I truly believe it's been it's, it's crazy to see where I'm at now than where I was at. But, uh, this new single that I'm going to be dropping is called Journey of the Broke. And uh, pretty much that's the name of the album. Journey of the Broke is what we do every day. We work at a job. J-O-B, that, that's, that's what I think J-O-B stands for and it stands for a lot of people. If you're working a job, you work for somebody, you are on the journey of the broke. You're literally not going to get anywhere working for somebody. Journey of the Broke though, it, it was crazy how we even started this project. But, you know, if you really feel like reggae with hip hop, with that underground feel, with a rock feel, with, with a twist of some street knowledge in it, you're gonna really like this song. It takes you into different aspects of everything, but it's all blended into one and it'll have your head bobbing. And you know, it's dope that uh, I, got, I was able to get linked up with 110 and Alex Puente, you know, on, on the production. This is all live music. And then to put put it together piece by piece, then we got Busy Boy from Crooked Trees on the hook. Chilling in my room, right? Listening to some music. You know what I'm saying? I get a call from my one of my band member, Alex. He plays the drum. He also produces our um, album, our records and stuff like that. Yeah, so he told me about this artist. He said, you know, he has an artist that he's um, low-key managing, you know what I'm saying? And he wants me to get on a record with him. So I'm like, all right, shoot me a shoot me a record. Let me hear let me hear what, what you know what I'm saying what what he, where he's trying to go with it. So he sent me the record. I liked it. You know what I'm saying. I thought the beat was sick. He he's, he kills it on the rhythm. You know what I'm saying. It's artistic rhythm done soul man. And it's true. His his name goes with the style he does. You know what I'm saying. So it, I I believe that it sounds like it has great potential. And you know you know I I, I highly recommend anyone to just give it a listen because it's it's worth giving a listen to and we put a lot of time dedication and effort into to every to making this project what it is today it, it took a lot of time and shit it came from one idea to actually sitting there doing it and actually going step by step and following through with it and we were just jamming out we were jamming out and be like bro like this could really be something you know let's jot it down record it let's let's track it record it run it through the tape machine Send it and get it mastered, and you know, just like that, that's how we made it happen.